Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we woke up and got ready to go to school. And when we did, we saw Hiromi. And then she said she didn't like windy days and then her skirt blew up. So, now we are in school. I think. Yes, we are. For the most of the day, all I do is stare at the clock. I read that wrong. For most of the day, all I do is stare at the clock. No, no one knows that I uh, repeated that. Shh. My teacher drones on and on. Oh man, does he have a monotone too? That's the worst. Especially in the morning time and you have a monotone teacher. It's like, Today we will be talking about the quadramatic envelope of the newspaper washing machine. I have no idea what I just said. Yet, all I can concentrate on is the swimming club. Really? Alright. Maybe that is your gift. You can be the next... Next Michael Phelps. Wow, I totally forgot about him for a while. But anyways, I'm actually interested in the club, which is strange for me. I think I what I I just remembered that I heard that Michael Phelps had like ADHD when he was a kid, and then like the parents just made him go into the pool, and then so he just used all the energy to swim around a lot. <laughs> to my relief. I hear the bell ring. As always, I expect you to review the material when you get home. I mean, it is school. I mean, everyone is bound to review the material, teacher. As the other students stream out of the room, he approaches my desk again. Why? Go away! So, you actually went to the swimming club? How, how do you know? Huh? Are you spying on me? That's right. I'm presuming you join? Yeah. Is that a problem? You probably already have a good picture of the circumstances around the swimming club. Not really. What do you mean? Like, there's only two people in the club? You mean the swimsuits are not in, you know, good, good status? There was an incident that happened and everyone has avoided it since. Oh. An incident. Hmm, you look worried. Actually, why hasn't anyone told me what happened? Yeah, I'm really curious. Why hasn't anyone told me what happened? No one wants to talk about tragic circumstance. Dude. So, what happened is bad. That's all I've managed to guess for now. I mean, wouldn't it be good to tell people what the tragic incident is? Because then people could try to avoid it. That, so, you know, we don't have a repeat of what happened, right? It's best to show some sensitivity. Well, I mean, if I want to try to avoid it, I mean... It, yep. Teacher, I don't understand your logic. Undoubtedly, they would hate to hear the students talking about it behind their backs. Th there? Who? Troubled, my teacher walks over to his desk and takes a seat. I do not understand why you want to know so badly. I just told you I want to avoid it at all costs if it's a bad thing. Like everyone does, right? Is that just me? Dang it. Some things are better left for guy in. No, that's no. That's like that's like saying let's just forget about World War II. Or the Vietnam War. Otherwise, forget about it. Things are left for better, you know, better left for guy in. So none of those things happen, right? They were saying teacher, huh? Huh? You're a bad teacher. Bad. 
Let's leave well enough alone and let time heal the damage that was caused. Don't you think? Talking about problems sometimes helps though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, if you don't talk about your problems, your problems are gonna, just gonna well up in your brain. Like it's just gonna take up a lot of more room, a lot of more energy. So talking about problems helps you relieve that. So people can help you carry the weight. I feel that would be better left in the hands of a professional. What are you talking about? Do you have a traumatic experience from it? Like, you have PTSD? I, I don't understand what you mean by professional. Like, it's just... the ah, ah! He seems to grow weary of the conversation quite quickly. I guess it would not be appropriate for a teacher to comment on such things, though. Well, I mean, you're telling us not to join the swim club because of a bad reputation, but you don't tell us what the bad reputation is or what the accident is or incident. I, I don't understand. The girl who spread those rumors about them is long gone. So what's wrong with telling me then? Yet the rumors themselves linger. Rumors? Just how much is there to this swimming club? Oh, I've said too much. Thanks, teacher. Anyway, I'm heading off. Have fun at swimming. Even though you might, you know, be in an accident, but I won't tell you what was the accident. He quickly leaves before I can ask anything else. Wow, what a great teacher. Telling me all these bad things, but never you know, letting me actually know what the specifics are and then telling me to have a good time swimming. Well, I'm probably putting too much stock in this. I think I'll just go get ready. Hmm. Hmm. And here... Oh. I was about to say, and here I am. <laughs> what perfect timing. Well, here I am. I'm still waiting for Hiromi and Miko to show up. I wonder just how hard this training is going to be. Well, let's see. Miko says she's not good at being a teacher. And Hiromi says she is. And that they'll teach me. I don't know. Hmm. They insisted that I had to be prepared to fully commit to this. I guess we'll have to wait and see. I don't know. Lifeguard too? Oh, uh, this. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why there's no, there was no lifeguards back then. No one was watching, and then something bad happened. So it's all the lifeguard's fault. Hmm. I don't know. Speculation. A single figure steps out of the changing room. Hiromi is busy. It's me who's going to be training you today. <laughs> oh. That's good. Wait, what happened to your broken swimsuit? Why was it broken? It looks fine now. Did you repair it? So make sure you listen. I wonder... I won't repeat myself, and I expect you to pay full attention to all of my instructions. She's so bossy when she wants to be. Hmm, that's my kind of gal. <laughs> Another important thing. Don't think about doing anything perverted. What are you talking about? I, I'm just trying to learn from you. You don't need to distract yourself when you're in the pool. Okay. I swear that it isn't my intention to do anything perverted to you. Why, why, why did you say to you? Why didn't you say at all? She scoffs at that. Of course you would deny it. Hey, hey, girls can be perverted too. Doesn't it make sense to deny something that isn't true? Hmm. Oh, j just be quiet. Having had enough, she lowers herself into the pool. Now then, how much experience do you have with swimming? I used to do swimming. I used to take lessons. And not good at diving. Because, yeah. Actually, one time, I was I was diving, right, and uh, I did a I did a sort of um, 
belly flop, and then during the belly flop, <laughs> I like I was trying to no no it wasn't belly flop sorry it was a cannonball because I was just like oh let's just have fun at the diving board so I did a cannonball when I got out of the pool there was a big hole in my swim trunks a gigantic hole yeah I was like uh oh uh oh <laughs> not very much I haven't done it in years hey just like me. Or actually swimming. Do I need to start with the basics then? <gasps> Doggy paddle. We might need a reminder. I slowly lower myself into the pool water. A reminder couldn't hurt. Please show me, Miko. It's weird that you're placing so much faith in me. I mean, you're, you are teaching me. You haven't even seen me swim yet. I'm sure you're a good swimmer. That's why you're in the swim club, right? But don't make presumptions like that. She was really bossy before, but now she's become awkward. Maybe she doesn't like the, uh, the pressure. I don't really understand what the deal is with her. Uh, anyway, so the first thing you should learn about is breathing. After that, we can begin to work on your technique. She consults me through all the basics. Oh, bit by bit, it starts to come back to me. It's strange how a small reminder can bring back a flood of memories. Yeah, usually that switch, the one thing that goes ding, and everything comes back. I didn't think it would be this short. You said you weren't a good swimmer. I'm not. I haven't done any swimming in a long time. Why not? I couldn't imagine life without swimming. Oh, see? So you have to be a good swimmer. I honestly don't remember. Well, either way, I think you're fine with the basics. She looks towards the end of the pool. I, I mean, I, I thought basics, you know, was more than just breathing. I thought that was a given. You don't breathe in the water. <laughs> Maybe we should get you started on doing some laps. Sounds good, Nico. Show me what you can do then. She gestures towards the diving platform. Oh no! Oh no, all the bad memories just came back again. Oh no, the big hole in my trunks. I pull myself out of the pool and make my way towards it. There's a sense of anticipation in the air as I climb on top of the platform. How big is the platform? Is it as high as the uh, lifeguard seat there? Miko looks at my looks at me expectantly come on already the pool is waiting for you wait is there is there any room to, to dive oh oh the platform not the diving board what, what am i thinking about that's like eh, no enough room there's too many lanes there should be a big wide open area i take just a moment longer to prepare myself the end of the pool looks so far away from here Yet, Miko is quickly losing her patience with me. What are you waiting for? Are you going to do it or not? Whoa! Calm down, I need to prepare myself mentally. I cannot ignore that. Time to do it! My muscles tense. I spring forward, my arms reached out in front of me. My hands cut through the surface of the water, allowing me to pass through it. This looks like the ocean. Like you're inside, the, you're like underneath the ocean and the sun's, sun's rays just shine through. It surges past my face, blasting me with shivering cold. Some of it gets up my nose, but I try my best to pull through. I had earplugs before. Never nose plugs though. Overarm was how I used to swim, so I guess I'll try it this time too. I kick my legs and put as much effort into it as I can. It's been a long time since I've used these muscles. Or any muscles? Because I mean any sort of exercise using these muscles. My laps are slow. I guess that was to be expected though. It's been a long time since I've done any real exercise too. 
I'm barely on my second lap, and I can feel my muscles screaming at me to stop. Has it really been this long since I went swimming? I, I actually like it. Oh yeah, because all that surge of adrenaline is like yeah. It's like when you're working out and you get all that adrenaline, it's like yeah, I'm gonna pump all this weight. Except this is swimming. <laughs> If that's not unusual for me, then I do not know what is. Despite how tired I feel, I don't want to stop. Hmm. I don't want to stop. Should I take a steadier pace or should I keep going? Hmm. If I don't want to stop, I should keep going. Or steadier pace. Keep going. I have to keep going, right? It would be better to put in as much effort as I can. After all, I have to do my best. I'm incredibly slow by the end of it, but I managed to do three laps before I drag myself out of the pool. Whew! You need to be more careful. Don't push yourself too hard. If you get tired while you're in the middle of a lap, well, we both know what would happen. I. I would just grab onto the uh, lanes. I mean, I wouldn't just not do anything and, and sink. <laughs> I'm sure that you'd pull me out if worst comes to worst. How did I do? It's not bad for a beginner. Definitely not the worst swimmer I've seen in the pool. She pauses for a moment as she seems to think to herself. But your technique is really sloppy. Well, I mean, I you just said I was a beginner, so that makes sense. You definitely need to work on that. She could have put it in a nicer way than that. Unrefined, maybe? Time to think of it. There really isn't any nice way to put it. Yeah, there isn't. It's bad. If it's bad, then what good is there in lying about it? Now then. What would help you apart from practice? Maybe you could learn something from observing me? Why don't you watch me swim a lap or two? Observing you, you say? Indignantly, she turns her back to me and folds her arms. I told you not to think any perverted thoughts. What is it with boys who do that? I don't know what to say to you, Miko. You're the one who suggested observing you. Yeah! Not my fault. What? Whatever. Alright, sorry, I'm just teasing. She puffs up her cheeks when she hears that. Do you want a demonstration or not? Yes, please. I drag myself out of the pool and take a seat at its edge. Let's see how much of a great swimmer she is. She seems very cat-like. Really? I can't really tell. All wound up, ready to leap in a split second. Oh, never mind. I barely see it when she finally dives into the pool. She crashes into the water, piercing through the surface with exceptional ease. I've never seen anything quite like it. She's practically gliding along the pool's surface. I could only look on in wide-eyed awe. Are you sure you're looking at her swimming or something else? She looks as natural as a dolphin in the ocean. Though I'm supposed to be observing her, I've lost sight of that goal. I'm far more interested in watching this human bullet speed along in front of me. Oh, I think I'm gonna say something else there, Kida. Her backstroke style is incredible. It's like watching a torpedo speed its way through the water. She's so damn fast, I couldn't possibly keep up if I were racing her. I quickly forget that I'm supposed to be observing her technique and just become lost in the moment. It's like watching a mermaid emerge from the sea. I heard mermaids are dangerous. Supposedly. For a moment, I picture her as a mermaid. It's an invasive little thought. Back and forth she goes, not once losing her pace. Wow, her technique is incredibly elegant. Streamlined, in another word. 
That's the only way I can describe it. Absolutely no movement she does is wasteful. How did she get so good? Hmm. Maybe it's just lots of practice, and she does love swimming. I've barely done any swimming in a long time, and even I can't tell how good she is. Back and forth, she skims across the water's surface with unrivaled speed. If she's this good, I can only guess that Hiromi is just as good as she is. These two must be water goddesses. That's the only way I could describe them. Well, yeah. She slows down a little bit by the time she's on her last lap. Pulling herself out, she lets out a little sigh. Not as fast as I was last time. Wait, last time? I must be getting out of shape. Wait, she can go even faster than this? The idea is almost impossible for me to comprehend. Wow. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Sakura Swim Club. And just... Wow. That was just amazing. How fast she was going. From reading it. <laughs> and especially her uh, her goddess body. What Kata said, I think. I may have just putting extra words. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!